Greetings, people of the internet. Today we're going to be doing something that I saw in a comment. But first, we need a change of clothes. Hey there, Han. Would you like some plague? Uh, the comment I'm talking about was left on the Cascadia Empowered video and it really piqued my interest. Let me read it to you. If I can find it, that is. It's actually two comments, as it turns out. The first one says, Wait, does Sarin's Force Toxin proc on Toxic Lash also proc Empowered? It counts as weapon damage and all. And then we have the second comment, which is what piqued my interest, which says, I'm kind of interested in trying this out with Haiku Prime and Toxic Lash. Concealed explosives triggers Toxic Lash in a 10 meter range, further increased by Prime Fulmination. That setup already works pretty well against Corpus, with Cascadia Empowered procs it could be ridiculous. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do today. First things first, let's do a bit of a try before you buy kind of thing, because I wanna tr make sure that this actually works before I start throwing resources at it. Okay, so that's without Lash, we're getting 5 damage, with Lash... Oh my god, it does work! Oh, that's awesome. So the first half of this definitely works. Now let's see... or not. Hello, Grandpa Cringe, I need one of your... Uh, I'm one off. Professional YouTube man. I need to pick a different Siandana. I don't like this one anymore. That is looking pretty nice. Yes, I'm liking the arrows as well. Hello, Ardis. Get shanked. That's not a shank. There it is. Did I get the slash on both of them? I think I did. Lovely. Oh, that's right. The key is tiny now. I still remember, like, for a long time, this key used to be absolutely enormous. I'm back. Give me your adapter, Grandpa. Thank you. So ho, ho, here's the moment of truth. Will the Force Toxin proc we get from Toxic Lash on Concealed Explosives trigger the damage from Cascadia Empowered? Makes sense to switch over to Corpus. Let's also bump it down to 100. Okay, 250 damage without the Lash. Now with it. Um, hello, please. Wait. Was that ex explosion or... Oh my god, it does work. Oh, that's so great. It actually works. No shot. <laughs> Well, this is gonna be a lot of fun, isn't it? So, like, the only thing that's gonna increase the damage of this is gonna be a Bane mod. So let's do Corpus and Expel mod, sorry. So let's do that. And I guess Multishot is the only other thing that will help here. So let's get Diffusion as well as Lethal Torrent in there. I don't remember if it is... It is, hell yes! Big... Boom. Now, we could just do a normal build underneath this, but that's boring, so... I wonder what will happen if I had punch through. I mean, realistically, we're only gonna run this against Corpus and Infested, so we might as well run the Expel mod for both, because there isn't much else we can do. Like, I can't think of another mod that I would want here. Maybe, like... Ooh, maybe Magnum Force, so that the knives spread around a little bit. Okay, Toxic Lash, and... Yeah, dude, that's so good. Yo, that is actually awesome. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure that like none of the damage that would be worth scaling through Galvanized Shot is actually affected by it. I genuinely don't know what the last mod should be. You know what? Sure, sure. Why not? Why not? Let's just put a V right there and slap in lethal mo bloody hell lethal lethal momentum for faster knives that'll do yep that's a that's a build all right i don't think this is going to be particularly good in steel path but let's try it i mean it's it's doing something but i don't think it's doing enough we would need a more serious build underneath this to make it work I mean, the small guys go down fast, it's, just, it's the big guys that are the problem. Not a big deal though, not everything has to be still path viable, sometimes it's okay for things to just be fun. Let's try... I guess Void, that has a good selection of enemies. Dude, the range on this is from ridiculous. I am flying through this mission. This is the most brain-dead setup that I've used in a long time. I'm done, what is... That's a two-minute exterminate in the void, and I wasn't even trying. This kind of reminds me of World on Fire Ember. And not the one that we have right now, the one we used to have, where you would just press 4 and sprint to extraction. This is so dumb. The thing here, though, is that because this is not an explosive weapon, the ammo is not a problem. These have a massive ammo pickup. I think it's 60, so you're never gonna run out. This is, like, the best thing ever. I think I'm just gonna keep this as my main build on the Haiku, because, like, this is gonna be awesome for fishers. 
Yeah, the single target is not great, but if you have like a more serious build underneath this, or you have Sarin with more strength, because my build doesn't have a law, it should be much better. Well, 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 what an absolutely fantastic combo. And it works on anything that can equip concealed explosives. You don't have to do this on the Haiku. I'm actually really curious to see what this will do on the Incarnon Despair and Kunai. My guess is, well, it's gonna be pretty good. I absolutely love interactions like this, which is why I decided to build it more towards the interaction rather than actually doing good damage. Because you can absolutely do like a more normal build so that you have single target from the knives and then have this on the side as a bit of AoE. But regardless of what you may or may not do with this, I would highly recommend you try it out because it's unique, very fun and pretty effective on the star chart. But anyway, that's pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. I would also like to extend a special thank you to all the channel members, thank you very much guys, I really appreciate your support, it means a lot to me, and if you want to become a channel member as well, you can check out the memberships and stuff down below. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.